Hey guys, it's Reenactment Day here with Brick from my attempt at history. And we are just doing a quick trench update and some video ideas. So, first, let's start off with how the trench is going so far. So it is now March here. The snow is starting to melt. Get off, get get away. I've caught it, now get, get out of here. But, uh, trench is all, most of the snow is melted for that um, it's not too muddy but it's wet and ground's still really hard so we can't work on it at all uh, when it gets warmer we're gonna fix this wall as you see a couple boards collapse this one here we're gonna add supports clean off all the benches clean that out work on this a bit gotta I'm probably gonna lower that part down to the rest of the height of the trench so that is how the trench is so far. We're also probably gonna, you were thinking, we can extend it that way. Kind of at an angle uh, from the rest of the trench. And the pile of leaves is still here. That's been there forever. Brick has gotten a new item. A original lightweight gas mask bag. You have me the camera, I can show them your repro. And here, I can do it. This is my repro right here. It's pretty similar. It's very similar. Yeah, it's very That's similar actually. Good job. Yeah, and some of the things on the reproduction is actually better than the original. Like just pretty much the thickness of this canvas here is the a lot stronger. Of some of the straps. Yeah, and some of these straps it's a lot stronger. But it does like you can't see it at all. Okay, because it is fall now and well more or less spring actually, not fall. But that temperature, I have no hat on, no gloves, no scarf. Because it's not cold. I, you know, just everything down is pretty much the same, boots and all that. But I'm still wearing my M43 jacket because it's still kind of chilly out. But also, under here, I have a flannel shirt um, instead of my wool one. I'm going to be using this flannel one uh, for combat so I do not ruin my wool one and that one will be for dress. Another thing is, my helmet do not have netting on it right now and probably leave it off for a while it looks pretty good and it's kind of a shame to cover up an original helmet um, probably put on the net at a reenactment just to add kind of like a layer of protectant from the anything like I'm putting it down on but right now I'm keeping the helmet the same if we switch real quick alrighty you can see that I'm uh, well, I'm carrying this absolute atrocity that was supposed to be an M1 carbine that I made like several years ago <laughs> um, yeah I'm a little different too Scrap the winter stuff, no scarf, no hat, no gloves. Standard field equipment, same stuff, but my difference is that I'm wearing an M41 jacket, because I am fancy, aren't I? Yeah. Although for our unit, the uh, M43 is more accurate, and I intend to eventually get one. I still have my netting on, because I only have a reproduction helmet, but I stick a feather in my netting now. Without that feather, who am I? Exactly. You're That's nobody. That's why I need my netting. My helmet has a new line or two. It's the cheap at the front reproduction one. It's better than the one that came with this. Much better. The webbing in the, at the front reproduction ones are good. They're just not an original liner shell. Also, you tilted the brim down on your helmet. Yeah, I, uh, as you've, you've seen some of my armor videos, you know that I do that. So actually, I reforged my helmet, the steel pot itself, to be a little closer to an original. Alright, now, if you'll notice, my steel pot, although it used to be a cheap reproduction, and still is a cheap reproduction, looks a little closer to this uh, original now. And that's because if you've seen any of my armoring videos, well, I know how to work with metal a bit, and I forged the brim of my cheap repro down a little bit to match the original, um, the original shape better. And a little other miscellaneous bits here and there, making it, um, well, a little less farb. Okay. Escaping the trench on the other side be like... Hopping up. Heat of battle, we had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction. In the, in the last thing you saw, the last clip, uh, the glue broke on my Garand. <laughs> now that. That's a short M1. Carbine. The first trooper version of the M1. <laughs> tanker, tanker Garand. I just gotta redo the glue, but. Yeah, that ain't no that big much. deal. It shows you kind of how it goes on. Yeah, how he built that. It's actually goes, copper. Feeds in there like that and glue it. Oh, that sucks, but gotta fix that, it's easy. 
That ain't nothing.